All right, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I can. Okay, perfect. Yes. Um, all right, so I think we're recording, yep. All right, so let me kick off this call with a little uh, recognition. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna start with, whoops, personal develop, uh, excuse me. I'm on my dad's computer and it is not a Mac. I'll tell you that. Um, okay, so personal volume from this past week. I got the top 20 coaches that had personal volume. And again, for the coaches that are new, personal volume is comes from when you order your own stuff and when customers order from you. That, that's what creates volume. Uh, so in the 200 club, so the people that broke 200 was Cassandra Martin and Alyssa Middleton. And then in the 300 club that were over 300 was Andrea Wallace, T. Striley, Brittany Sarah, Caroline Nathan, Bridget Moore, Caressa Shade, Mary Weeks, Trip Knowles, Jeff Lees, Terry Bocklet, Gisela Santalan. And then in the 400 club, over 400 was Jenny Powell, Alyssa Sardelli, and Kelly Marks. And then over in the 500 club was Marie Sardelli, Amy Realman, Kristen Cohn, and myself. And then one more thing I wanted to recognize here were the people that hit, excuse me, the people that signed coaches during the month of January. So I can't list everyone that signed a coach, but I'm going to list the people that signed two or more coaches. Um, so the people that signed two coaches are Amanda Begley, Amy Knowles, Anthony Toscano, Elizabeth Grimes, Gage Ecker, who's basically Amy Realman. Uh, he's, she signed two under his name. Ginger Halliday, Jennifer Cooper, Janine Hamblin, Josh Morgan, who's Amy Morgan. Uh, so that's Amy Morgan signing two. Katie, uh, Katie Iris, Kaylin Emery, Kristen Barnett, Kristen Cohn, Megan Smiley, Nancy Nathan, myself, Skylar Coden, T. Striley, Tammy Haiti, Terry Bocklet, Victoria Dell, all signed two coaches last month. Uh, we're not supposed to say sign. I think we're supposed to say enroll. It sounds better. So they all enrolled two coaches last month, which is cool. They all had two coaches join the team. So then coaches that signed, coaches that had three coaches join their team are Alyssa Sardelli, Chuck Wallace, who's Andrea Wallace. So congrats, Annie. That's three coaches. Uh, Chelsea, Delph, Dave, Yackel, Marie Sardelli. And then who had four coaches join their team, Angela Lathrop, Brittany Babbitt, Joe Policino, Josh Morgan again. I'm assuming that's Amy Morgan uh, with four coaches. Peter Realman with four coaches. Five coaches was Amy Realman and Christina Hill. Six coaches was Michelle Phillips and Trip Knowles. And 15 coaches was Caroline Nathan. And uh, Caroline Nathan had over 50 successful points last month. Amy Realman had 30, I believe. And they were both in the top 50 in successful points in the entire East region, which is pretty amazing. And I'm pretty sure Ka uh, Caroline was, like, in the top – 10 for like the entire organization or something like that. So Caroline, Nathan, congrats, congratulations. You were the January team boom coach of the month round of applause for an amazing month for Caroline and the rest of team boom by far the biggest month team boom has ever had as far as coaches being enrolled and successful points. Uh, so much momentum going into February and the 21 day fix. Uh, so with all that recognition, yeah, we need more time for recognition now these days, but uh, it's my favorite part of the call. So with all that said, now we have our very own premier coach, Amy Realman, who I think there was only 74 coaches in the entire network that were premier coaches um, and only 100 coaches that got to go to the new leadership event out in L.A. and got to hang out with uh, Carl Deichler and got a tour of the Beachbody headquarters and got to work out with Autumn Calabrese and 
got to hear from some of the top beach body coaches. So Amy, are you on here? You want to hop on and, and uh, share a little bit about what you learned last weekend and share uh, the things you did last month that you know, helped you have such an amazing month. Yeah, I will. Um, if you hear any heavy breathing, it's because I have my entourage <laughs> oh, hovering yeah, yeah, over yeah. me. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm just going to share some points that I learned at leadership that I wanted to bring back to you guys. And then I also wanted to talk about how I convert my challenge pack, how I find my challenge pack customers, what I say to them, and how I convert them into coaches and discount coaches. So I'm going to start with, um, you can take notes on this, but I also typed it all out so I can send it, I can post it in the boom fam or something. Um, okay. So I'm going to start with Melanie Mitro. She was one of the speakers there and, um, she talked about creating a recruiting culture. So she first point was identify who your ideal coach is. How would you describe them? What's their age? What do they look like? Are they married? Are they single? Are they a stay-at-home mom, working mm -hmm. mom? What is their faith? Can you guys mute yourself? Thanks. Um, what are they interested in? So basically, you want to attract the coach that you want to work with. Uh, post about the coaching opportunity as if you are writing it to your ideal coach. Remember, when you sign up a coach, this is somebody that you're going to work with and talk to a lot. So it's going to help that um, if you find coaches that you actually want to talk to. Um, her example was, you know, you have those coaches that when the phone rings and you see their name, you go, oh, or it's the person that you see their name and you're like, yeah, I want to talk to you. Hey, what's up? So you want to attract the people that you actually want to work with. Um, and I've been really focusing on that. So I think that um, that's definitely going to be a big business changer. She also talks about her monthly marketing plan. What are you advertising this month? When will you advertise it? When is the group starting and who are you trying to attract? You can't just post um, one day, 21 day fixed extreme, blah, 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 and then the next day, body beast, um, and all of these different things. You need to pick something that you're going to advertise and then focus on um advertising that one thing consistently she said talk about your challenge daily for the first two weeks before um the challenge is even going to start you can't just be one and done as she's called it uh you have to consistently post about it and make sure like if your challenge starts on the 16th your deadline for people to order to be in that challenge is February 6th because they need, you know, five to seven days to ship it. They need a few days to, um, you know, get it by that Saturday before the Monday starts so that they can be prepared and start when everyone do else does, everyone else starts so that they can be um, successful with the program. So that's something that she um, talked about. And then create a sense of urgency. So like I said, when I talk to people, if the challenge is starting on the 16th, I am like from the beginning of the month on the first, it's like talking about it, talking about it. And it's like, if you want to get in this challenge, you have to order by the sixth so that you get it in time. Um, I only have a few spots left. And she was kind of laughing at this. She was like, when I first started, I was wanting anyone to join my challenges, but I pretended like I only had five spots open or two spots left and stuff like that. So you have to create that sense of urgency and fake it till you make it, she said. Um, she also said, be creative, eye-catching images, follow other coaches and, you know, screenshot what they do. And you can, you know, use what they use, but be original and keep it um, your, like yourself. Don't, she basically said, don't just always post a Beachbody ad. Um, I know that a lot of people on our team are really good at trying to find creative ways to post something without just being a sales ad. So I like that. And the next thing that she said was um, basically fake it till you make it confidence. Put yourself in a position where others are going to view you as a leader, even if you don't believe that you're a leader yet. Post three to five times a day between your social media sites so that you create those people who are going to be coming to you and watching what you're doing. You cannot just post 
once a week yeah. and expect people to really think you're serious about your business. You need to be, um, and she always, she kept referring to it as like a shampoo commercial. You see this shampoo commercial and you're like, oh yeah, Tresemme, that's great. And then you see it the next day and you see it the next day and a week later. And then you're like, I think I'm going to get that Tresemme shampoo. Um, so you need to constantly be reminding people of, um, of the challenges and what you have going on. So, and then she, and, um, she said, recruit to succeed, set goals each month, increase the goal each month, fill your pipeline and consistently grow it. And then she also, um, so that was it for her basically. And then Trina Gray, she talked about the three disciplines of self-leadership. Uh, I posted this, I think in the boom fam the other day, but be comp one is, um, be completely committed to your goals. When you say you're going to do something, actually do it. Turn your why into actual results and unbreakable promises to yourself. You don't break promises with your kids or your, bo your boss at your real job or anything. So don't break promises to yourself and your business. Um, the second thing is control the controllable. Define five to eight things that you can 100% control on a daily basis. How does that goal directly impact you? Rank your top five to eight things from most important to least important. Example, personal development, proof of the product, invites, follow-ups, posting on social media, getting on calls, listening to recording, recordings. Those are all things that you can 100% control. You can't control that um, if a coach in your downline is going to stay active, if they're going to make that last success club point so that you can say you had five coaches that made success club. You can't really control that, but you can control what you do on a daily basis. And the last thing was just be fully accountable. Turn good intentions into habits aligned to your goals. Be accountable to two people, yourself and your success partner or your mentor. Your mentor. You don't have to, um, you don't have to just have your upline coach as your mentor or your success partner. Find somebody else if you don't want to align with your coach, but find somebody who's <laughs> Is, can you guys go on mute, please? More, more, more. Be a reference. No lights. Pat, yeah, can you mute it, everyone? That was the same one. That was a white ranger. Oh. He said okay. Um, where was I? Okay, so it doesn't have to be your upline sponsor. Um, it can be anyone on your team, but she says, and Pat says this too a lot. It's like, find somebody that you actually look up to and that someone who's better than you. Um, you have to surround your yourself with people that are going to uplift you and actually get you to reach your goals. If you want to have a goal of having 50 invites a day and reading personal development, and it's probably not a good idea to have your success partner be somebody who only does five invites a day and doesn't believe in personal development. That's not going to move you forward with your goals. So you have to find somebody who is better at you than what you're trying to accomplish. Um, what is going to push your business forward? What are you going to cut out to move your business to the next level? Um, Trina Gray really stressed this, is that you if you really want to move your business forward, you have to cut something out of your life so that you can fit this into your life and for the future. Um, and then she talked about some obstacles that most, most coach faces. And she said that a lot of people need to come out of the beach body closet. <laughs> so you can, um, you don't have to say you're a beach body coach or whatever, but you can refer to yourself as a mentor, supporter, advisor, advocate, be proud of what you're representing. Um, another thing she said is a lot of people have self-doubt. Use other success as motivation, not something that makes you, um, makes you like down on yourself that you can't be where they are. Be inspired, not intimidated. Shut down the negative self-talk. Find your, what your strength is. What are you good at? This is how you should lead. Find something you're good at and happy um, and apply that in your style of leadership. So she explained that she had this one coach who was trying to – mimic what another girl on the team was doing and she just was failing and so trina said i don't remember what the girl's name is we'll say sally she was like sally 
what are your strengths just in life in general? And she was like, I'm, I'm a really good singer. Like, and so she was like, do something about singing, bring this beach body coaching, um, like with somehow you can relate it to singing. So this girl made a YouTube video on, um, do you want to build a snowman? And she changed it to, do you want to build a business? And she has a really good voice so you can find it on YouTube. And she had this whole song about like, do you want to build a business? And it was, and that's how she attracted people. I would never do that because my voice sucks. Um, so you have to find what your strengths are and apply them to this business. And then she said, another thing that people say all the time is they have no time. And she said, everyone has time. It's full-time focus for full in a full-time mission. You can be successful while working full-time and you just have to, when you're in it, you have to be in it. Trina Gray owns a gym and she's an owner of a gym. She has so many people to manage and everything. So she said a lot of times she only has like two focused hours to work on Beachbody. And when she sits down, she tells herself this, she like screamed this on stage. I'm the hardest freaking worker I know. And she said, when I am in, I am in it. It's not the amount of time I spend. It's how you spend that time. So if you get on your Facebook page, don't look at your news feed and check out all these groups that you don't need to be in. What's the most important thing that's going to move your business forward? Focus on that. And then if you have the extra time for the fluff, then go ahead and do that. Um, in your power hour. So things that she said, that's the most important is personal development invites, checking in and posting in your challenge groups, coach group, getting in your training groups, posting on social media and following up with people, which I feel like we all know that. And then obviously first, um, getting in your workout and drinking Shakeology. Um, and then she just kept saying, give something up, make a sacrifice. And then she gave us a few examples of people on her team. One girl came, or actually, this was actually one girl who came up. She, um, she works a full-time job, eight to five. So what she did is make herself get up at 5 a.m. and work on her business from five to seven every morning, shower, out the door by 7.30, 30 minutes of personal development in the car while driving. She said if she's lucky, she gets maybe 20 minutes in on her phone, but barely even a minute during work. 30 minute drive home, she has personal development. She gets in the door at when right, she gets at ugh, she gets home right at 5 30, pops in a workout and does her workout, sh showers, and then has dinner with her husband and hangs out with him from 6 15 to 8 15, and then does beach body from 8 15 to 9 15, gets ready for bed, bed by 9 45. Weekends, sometimes she puts in eight hours and other times none. But the point of hers was that she's just very consistent. Another girl stays at home with her kids, but they're up at 6 a.m. She doesn't do any beach body work during the day except for a few minutes here and there. They nap for one hour, so she gets her workout in during their nap along with laundry, cleaning, and shower. Once the kids go to bed, she works on her beach body business every night from 8 p.m. till 12 p.m. straight, Sunday through Thursday. Friday nights is date night, and Saturday and Sunday are family days. But if she gets her husband to watch the kids, she'll sneak away and do beach body for a few hours. This girl got to diamond in 11 days. She was a two-star diamond in 56 days. And when I talked to her, she, in four months, she was a four-star diamond. And of those diamonds, she got her husband to diamond. So she got herself to diamond in 11 days and her husband to diamond in 56 days and like got her sister to work the business. And she got to diamond in like 30 days. So these people are crazy, but they are very consistent. Um, a huge thing that all of them talked about was success club right from the beginning with new coaches. You have to explain to them what it is and, um, what does it mean? And, uh, Melanie Mitchell was saying when she talks to her new coaches, could you make a commitment to help three to five people commit to a challenge every month? And she just basically says to everyone, this is easy, easy. You're just going to do it. Um, Trina Gray likes to refer to it as people versus points. It's you're helping three to five people. It's not just about the points. It's the people behind it. And then moving to Tracy Boro, she was more of like the personal development aspect and integrity. She said, you must become bigger on the outside than you are on the in, or you must become bigger on the inside than you are on the outside. Good leaders ask great questions. Integrity is who you are when no one is looking. Are you going to let setbacks inspire or derail you? Leaders need to give stuff up. Give stuff up. What message is your life saying? Be the real you. Does what you post on social media really represent who you are? 
And then Tracy Morrow was telling me that she, or she on stage, she said she's getting her thyroid removed. And she said she's tired all the time, but she's not going to use that as an excuse or something to set her back. She's using it to fuel her forward. Um, so her speech was really good. It was all just personal development and being the real you. So those were the biggest things I took away. And then obviously it was awesome to get to go to the headquarters, work out with Autumn Live, um, go into their like Shakeology bar, get a tour of everything, and just be surrounded by so many coaches that even for me, like I felt like I was doing really well. And then to be around these people and I'm like, oh, okay, like, hi, how are you? And how long have you been a coach? Oh, I've been a coach for like three months and I'm a two-star diamond. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, and so when I came back, like, I was like, okay, I had set these goals for myself to get my boyfriend to diamond in my second business center. And I had these goals that like I thought were pretty good goals. And after talking to all of them, I'm like, why am I not pushing myself to get things done faster and more efficiently if these people can do it. So I was just, it's just like you're, you, if they can do it, so can you. Um, so that was, you know, definitely I was around a lot of more people who were more successful than me, but it just inspired me to keep going and push forward. And, you know, I might not get 50 success club points a month, like Carol and Nathan and stuff, but it's just going to fuel me to keep um, pushing forward. So that was my biggest takeaway from leadership. And then, Pat, did you want me to go into the 21 Day Fix Extreme Challenge pack and the customer to coach conversion? Yeah. While you're pulling that up, uh, I'm going to just read off the names of the people that made Success Club last month. Okay. Um, okay. So I can only see like five levels deep. So if I missed you and you made Success Club, I apologize. Um, I'll make it up to you somehow. But this is the list of people that I have for making Success Club. So the people that had five points were Jennifer Conroy, Brittany Hall, Katie Iris, Lori Sanderson, and Bridget Moore. Six points was Kristen Cohn, Susan Bell, Daniela Dennis, Janine Hamblin, Jennifer Cooper, Elizabeth Grimes, Kimberly Opperle, Julian Prisco, Angela Lathrop, Michelle Stokes, Robin Ferguson, Rachel Masters, Jaken Huskenveld. Uh, sorry, Jaken. I don't know if that's right. And then at seven was Tammy, the CEO, Tammy Haiti, Reve Chantel. Uh, at eight was Anthony Toscano, Laura Farmer, Megan Smiley, Ginger Halliday. Myself, Melissa Virgil, Josh Morgan, who is Amy Morgan, Kelly Abbott, Jennifer Pike, Robert White, Bobby White. At nine was Alyssa Sardelli. At Success Club 10, we had a lot of people at 10. We had T. Striley, who hit it for her first time, Ariel Hartstock, Chelsea Delf, Kayla Emery, Dave Yackel, Skylar Coden, Mary Weeks, Brittany Babbitt. Stacy Holder hit it for the first time. I think Brittany Babbitt was her first time hitting it. Christina Hill, Amy Morgan, Joe Policino. So Amy Morgan had 18 success club points. And then at 11 points was Pete Reelman, Trip Knowles, Whitney DeGrania. Uh, Whitney, that was her first time. She had 13 points, her first time hitting success club 10. Andrea Wallace had 15. Terry Bocklet at 15. <laughs> Uh, that was huge. Kirsten Barnett at 18. Kelly Marks at 18. Michelle Phillips at 24. Amy Reelman, 30. Carolyn Nathan, 56. So we had 60 coaches that I know of that hit Success Club last month, which is pretty amazing. If I missed you, did I miss anybody? Does anyone have any coaches that made Success Club that I didn't say? Brandy Cross made it. Virgil. Melissa Virgil. Melissa Virgil. Melissa Virgil. I, I think I said her. Melissa Virgil. I, already, I think I said her. Caitlin. Marie Sardelli. Did I not say you? Beth Baker, Caitlin Brunell, Penny Wood. That's all I got. Never mind. Who were they? 
Um, Caitlin Brunel, Shauna's sister, Beth Baker, and Penny Wood. They all made Success Club five. Awesome. And then um, Carissa Shade and then myself, we both got five. Nice, Marie. That's one month down, 11 to go for the year. Killing it. Cool. I think that's everybody. Uh, all right, Amy. I'll throw it back to you in the other oh. room. Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen so you guys know exactly where to find these. This is Terry's computer, so it's a little bit unorganized. It, this is not what my computer would look like. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So uh, um, everyone should have these in their coach group. So in the coach group, files tab, and then... 21 day fix extreme you click on the doc and then if you want to you can copy it and paste it into your own word document because you cannot edit this doc if you want to add anything else so i have to give one shout out um to, to my new coach who just signed up this weekend i trained her yesterday and i was like i told her she should post this on her in on her facebook and she did if i could provide I do with the 21 day workout program, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I, I mean, I know a lot of people have done this, but I just wanted to show you exactly how it, it does work. Um, so she posted this yesterday. If I could provide you with the program, she just signed up as a coach. She already has tons of comments. I mean, obviously probably 90% are not going to fall through, but this is a good lead for her to start. And then she also has these 45 people that she can message and say, hey, thanks for liking my photo about the 21-day program. Would you like me to give you some more information about this? So this is just a really easy way to get things started. Yeah. Mom, I'm talking. <laughs> hey, Amy, <laughs> can you – so, like, everyone's in different coach groups. Um, if you're an Emerald or above, then you're in the Boom Fam. So if you're not an Emerald yet – that's a little more incentive to get to Emerald is you get to be in a group with all the Emeralds and above on team boom. And in the files tab of the, that boom fam group, there's a file called challenge pack scripts. And then this script that Amy's going over is in there. And then in my coach group, there's in the files tab, there's also a file called challenge pack scripts that this scripts in there as well. And I'm assuming like everyone else in your guys' coach groups have a file called challenge pack scripts. So that's where you guys are going to be able to find this, uh, script that Amy's going to go over. Yep. Um, so this was an easy way for her to get started and post about the challenge that we have going on. Um, another option, help. I need some help staying accountable. I know a lot of people have been posting, could you give up wine and chocolate for 21 days? And that's been getting a lot of hype on their pages as well. Um, this new program is coming out. I'm doing it. Join me. It's not about buy this from me. It's join me. I'm doing this too. Um, and then again, it's just, if anyone likes or comments on your photo, Hey, it's all you like my post. Would you like more information about this? If they don't respond, I do 48 hours. So I do my follow-ups every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if somebody, if I message someone saying this on Monday, on Wednesday, I would message them this on Friday. I would message them this. If I post if I said this to someone on Tuesday, since my follow-up day is Wednesday, on Wednesday I would say this, on Friday I would say this. So just when you go in and do your follow-ups. Um, anyone who sends you a friend request, hey, thanks for the ad. Are you interested in my free fitness group or my 21-day challenge? That's new, right, Amy? Like that's something that people are starting to do now when they get a, a new friend request instead of jumping right to the free Facebook group you're kind of giving them the option of the free Facebook group or the 21 day challenge. Yeah. So I have been doing this since probably November. And I mean, I had 28 success club points in December and 30 in January. So I go right for the challenge pack. They're not interested in the challenge pack. I ask them, you know, if it's money or whatever, I ask them if I can follow up with them for the next challenge. But in the meantime, I do have a free group. Are you interested in that? So I go for the challenge pack and then the free group. So then, so what do you get like as a response most of the time when you say, hey, thanks for the ad. Are you interested in my free fitness group or my 21 day challenge? Um, a lot of people just ask me like, 
questions like what what does it entail they don't like some people say straight like free fitness group and i still say okay so what are your goals and then if they tell me their goals i still try and tailor it to the challenge back group and if they're still not interested in that then i go to the free group but i still always tailor it to the challenge group yeah uh, because that's where they're going to get the best results right like a free group's yeah. great you get the support but we can hook them up with like a program Shakeology, a meal plan, and the support with all the other people that are doing it with them, then they're going to get the best results. Yeah, and I make it seem like when they're like, oh, like what's the free group about? I'm like, oh, it's just motivation and support. But the challenges are a specific meal plan, a specific workout. Everyone's doing the same thing. So I make it seem like the challenge pack is a way better group anyway. Right. So I kind of like lead it in that way. But first, you get to know their goals. So then you're able to help them a little bit more figure out what the best option for them rather than just going right to like, you should do yeah. the challenge group or the challenge pack. No. Yeah. So, um, I follow up and a lot of them I have to follow up at least two times because they don't usually respond right away. Um, so this is all for up the step two of the option one. So I'm going to skip over option two. I'll go over that after. So bridge step one to step two there's just a few like buffer questions if they ask about the price, if they're interested but want more information. So I'm just telling them more about the challenge. Um, again, there's the follow-ups. And then here's all the interview questions. Um, so, you know, what are some of your goals? What made you interested in the support group? How long have you struggled with nutrition and stuff? So I usually start by always asking them, what are some of your goals? And if they just say, like, lose weight, I don't just say, okay, great, so this group would be good for you. I'm like, how much do you want to lose? Why do you want to lose weight? What would losing weight feel for you? Feel, like, how would that make you feel or something? So I'm trying to get to know them better. What are you already doing for workouts? Are you not working out at all? Are you, do you like cardio more? Do you like weights? What do you like? So, like, one girl I was talking to while I was promoting the Insanity Max 30 Challenge and she was like, I hate cardio. And I just said, ha ha ha, well, Insanity Max 30 probably isn't gonna be the best option. What about the 21 day fix? It's a good combo. You're gonna have some cardio, but you're gonna have weights too. So she ended up getting the 21 day fix and she loves it. I feel like if I had pushed the Insanity Max 30, just because I was doing it, she wouldn't be successful with it. And she ended up signing up as a discount coach. Um, and she probably would have stopped after a week of Insanity Max 30 because it's a lot of cardio. Um, so you have to definitely get a good feel for what they like. Um, and then as soon as they tell me if it, it's, um, they tell me their goal is to, you know, work on their eating. They really need to work on their portion controls. They eat healthy, but they're def they're still not losing weight. I'll insert whatever they say here. So um, I know you really want to lose weight and work on your portion, your portion controls portion control. I know this group is really going to help you achieve these goals and you would feel amazing if you reach them. Um, if they said, I really want to work on, you know, building muscles in my arms, this group is going to be great. Or I know you want to work on building muscles in your arms. This group is really going to help you achieve those goals because there's a good combo of weight movements, cardio, push-up, and everything, and you'd feel amazing if you reached them. So I make sure to fit in what they say. Um, and then again, follow-ups. If you're not following up, you're not going to get anywhere. You have to follow up with people. Um, and then going hey, in, Amy, you have, yeah. What percentage of people that have ordered challenge packs from you did you have to follow up with before they ordered? Probably 99%. I like, I had like one conversation with a girl I went to college with and I was like showing it to someone. It was smooth sailing all the way through and she just signed up and that never happens. I follow up with people constantly all the time. So yeah, I don't think I would sell any challenge packs if I just did the one message and then moved on. I follow up a lot. Um, and then of course the video, what is 21 day fix extreme? And what is a challenge group? Some people have no idea what you're talking about when you say a challenge group. So I like this video about just explaining what they're going to get out of the challenge group. And then what did you like about the video? Um, you know, you're talking to them, whatever. They, you might have to answer some questions. The script is awesome and I follow it to a T, but I still have to go off the script and be a real person and fit in things that they're saying and tailor it to that specific person. Um, 
So it sounds like this is something you're, that you're ready to do. Here's how it works. You enroll with a challenge pack, and then I add you to our private group. And this is everything that it entail or it comes with. Does that sound doable? Um, again, you have to follow up if people don't respond. And then if they, you know, a lot of times it's going to be money. If, if they can't afford that, I, I'll ask, like, when do you think you will be able to afford it? If you really want this, do you think you're going to be able to afford it at some point or get the money somehow or whatever? If they say, yeah, like, and they give me a date, sometimes they'll say, okay, what date do you think you will be ready so that I can make sure to follow back up with you? I don't want to miss you by mistake. Um, and then they give me a date or whatever. I always have a um, contact list. And let me see, I'm going to pull that up really quick just because it's really helpful. Um, I love Google Docs and do Google Sheets. Right now I'm at my aunt's on my aunt's computer and I didn't need my computer because everything's right here. Um, so I always have a contact list. You know, anyone who is not ready for the challenge now, I say, I know you're not ready right now, but do you mind if I follow, would you be interested in challenges in the future? If they say yes, I put their name down and I'm going to follow up with them a month later. If they say no, then I'm going to say, okay, great, have a good day and X out of the conversation. Um, I also keep anyone interested in coaching. Anyone that did buy a challenge pack, I make sure to keep track of them so I can tag them in groups. And then anyone that said they're like interested in a program but not right now and they give me a specific date i make sure to write the date down so that i can follow back up with them like for instance lindsay february 2nd extreme and stuff um february 6th and stuff i need to update this but that just helps me so when i go in and on my to-do list i'll have contact list i go in here every day and check it to see what i need to follow up with and stuff um Okay, so follow-ups, and then if they're ready to order, easy, you just send them this, put your coach name in, and you move, and you get them in the challenge group. Yeah, and then again, if they're not interested in this, or they can't afford it or whatever, or in the meantime, I, I ask them if they want to be in the free group in the meantime. And then following up if needed, which is needed. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is, great, you sold a challenge pack. Now you have to try and convert them to a coach and stay accountable with them in the challenge group. You can't just sell a challenge pack and it 100% it does not end right there. If they get them in the challenge, help them with their journey, answer their questions. And I made a document on, it's in my coach group. Um, I can put it in boom fam. I think Pat did. And then it's how to convert your challenge pack customers to coaches. I put it, it's in the, uh, in that file called challenge pack scripts. I put the link for it in there as well. Okay, cool. Um, so great, you sold the challenge pack, yay. Now it's time to get them started. Your job does not end after the sale. You need to get them in a challenge group, give them a few of your favorite ways to make Shakeology, tell them they should try a different, different ways to perfect how they like it. I don't know about you guys, but when I first tried Shakeology, I did not like it. Um, and then I had to change to the vegan because I couldn't, my stomach couldn't handle the whey protein and I did not like the vegan chocolate. It took me a few times of figuring out how I like it to perfect it. So I make sure to let people know that, um, be consistent with checking in and see how they are doing with their program. And in the challenge group, I personally go into, I have, you know, the Insania Max 30, 21 day fix, whatever I go in every day. And even if I'm not doing that workout program, I say workout done. Here's how I made my Shakeology. I still worked out and I still drink Shakeology. So I say that and then I tag all my people in the group and say, how are you guys doing? How would you do for your Shakeology today or whatever? And I try and do that on um, a consistent everyday basis. And then after one to two weeks, see how they're liking Shakeology. Ask them their favorite way to make it. Has it started helping with any cravings or anything? And then step one. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that when you ordered your challenge pack, it sets you up for HD, Home Direct Auto Ship of Shakeology. You can cancel or postpone whenever you want. Since you ordered on January 19th, it will ship again on February 19th. Do you think it is something you're going to want to continue getting? Most times people are going to ask you, how much is it, or whatever. And then if you need to figure out, if you can't remember what date they bought it, this is just the step-by-step -step on how to find out 
where your challenge packs are, and the date that they bought it. And then the cost. So if you're going to continue to get it every month, I would recommend signing up as a discount coach. You don't have to do the business side of anything if you don't want to. If you do want to do the business, I am more than happy to train you. But it's $97 plus $2 shipping plus $15 web seat fee, so $113 plus tax. For a customer, for a customer, it is $129 plus $2 shipping plus tax, or $2 shipping plus tax. On average, saving at least $15 a month, about $200 a year. A lot of people, if they are going to continue with Shakeology, they're probably going to sign up and do this because who doesn't want to save some money? Um, and then, you know, give them more details. It's easy. So normally there's a $39 fee, but sign up fee. But since you already ordered a challenge pack, they will reimburse that fee. You do have to pay it when signing up, but since you did it because you didn't sign up at the same time you ordered. So once you sign up, I'll show you where to go to click to get your $39 back. It takes like three to five days to show up. And then here's how they sign up. Go into their website, click on the coach tab, pay it. You don't have to buy another challenge pack. Check out and send me a message. Make sure um, you show them how to get their $39 refunded. And I showed you exactly how to, to go into the forms of documents, what they have to put in and everything so that they can get that $39 back. Um, if you buy a challenge pack, even if you bought it like in July of 2013, you can sign up today and get your $39 back. But if you signed up on February 9th, you only have until May not, or March 9th to get the $39 back. So you want to make sure that they fill out that form right away so they're getting their money back. And then I'm not going to go into step five just because I'm not really sure about the club membership stuff right now. I usually show them how to cancel. I wait until they do all of this, and then I show them how to cancel the club membership, but I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with that since they have the new streaming and everything. I mean, I'm obviously going to tell them about the cost, but I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Um, and then I just explain what cup club membership is to people, but that's it. Uh, when do you talk about the actual, like, business opportunity? Well, I'm just talking to them about this, like about the discount. And then I threw in there, like, I'm happy to train you if you're interested in the business. Once they do sign up, I will, you know, I welcome to my co into my coach group, even if they're a discount coach. And I will message them and say, hey, I know you were more leaning towards the discount. Did you want me to train you at all in the business? I just wanted to check and double check on that. Um, I also, I have a lot of discount coaches over the, so anytime it's the, like, Last week, I messaged all my discount coaches, and I said, hey, I know you signed up for the discount, which is totally awesome, but I am running um, a new coach base, a new coach training on Monday. Totally cool if you don't want to, but I just was wanted to check in and see if maybe anything had changed on your end and you wanted to try the business. So I had one girl who got in coach basics this month, and she signed up in, like, November and didn't have any interest, but now she's jumping in. Um, so not sure where it'll go, but we'll see. Awesome. Cool. Um, does anyone have questions for Amy? As I, was, I was just looking at the chat now to see if anyone had questions. Hi, can I ask and a question? All I see are people telling me that I mispronounced their last names. I apologize. Pat, can I ask a question? Of course. Caroline. Yes. Why are you, why are you being uh, Amy, so did you just say that you put your discount coaches in your coach group, or did I hear that wrong? I do. So I make a collage for them, and I welcome them into the coach group. Mm. And then, um, yeah, I ask them, even after they sign up, and, like, even if last week they weren't really interested in the business, I do say to them, hey, I know you mostly signed up for the discount. I just wanted to double check. Did you want to get into my coach basics group to learn the business a little bit. You definitely don't have to, but just wanted to double check to see if you wanted to. So even if they don't want to work the business as discount coaches, you leave them in your coach group? Yeah. Okay. They can remove themselves if they want, but that was another thing that I talked to someone at leadership and they do that and they welcome them in there. And sometimes they go in fully just being a discount coach and then they see their welcome sign and they're in this group and then they might like, they've had people change their mind. So I just started doing that this week. Have you, so, sorry to double ask again. So I have a lot of people that I signed up in the last like three weeks. Would you recommend that I add those people now or just start doing it from now on? 
I would message them and maybe for the next round or maybe you, I, I would, I would say, Hey, I'm going to add you to my coach group. Like you don't have to do anything in there. I just want to welcome you into the group and make a collage for them and stuff. I had one girl who wasn't really interested in the business this weekend. And she was like, thank you so much for that collage and the warm welcome. And so I don't know. I think she liked it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. I have a question. How long are your challengers in your challenge group before you talk to them about coaching? Um, well, I'm like, even after a week, I'm asking them how they like Shakeology and stuff at least like a week before their Shakeology, I'd say two weeks before their Shakeology ships again is when I start saying like, Oh, I just want to let you like, how are you liking Shakeology? Do you think you're going to get it again next month or whatever? And that's when they talk about, like, I talk about the price and then I tell them like, you get the discount. You can also earn some money as a coach, but you don't need to do the business if you don't want to. And then again, like, even if they're signing up for the discount, once I sign them up, I say like, I know you're mostly in it for the discount, but I just wanted to double check. Like, did you want to know more about the business? Like, and ease it into it that way. That's Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Does anyone else have any questions? I have a question. Um, I tried the script a couple times, and I was what I what I ran into, and maybe you can help me get around this. Is um, I would start out, and they would ask about the challenge group, and then once they got to the price, they were, you know, obviously no longer interested, which I run into a lot. Which I, I'm, you know, that's whatever. And um, I try to give them some other options, but then it's like I, I can't even at that point get them to join in my free group. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I can't even get them to join at that point. Kathy, so I do. So even though I made 30 success club points and, you know, I had 15 people join a challenge, I probably was talking to at least 50 people a day. Like, I mean, I invited at least, I was inviting at least 50 people a day and maybe, you know, from running Instagrams and stuff, I'm having at least 15 new conversations a day. So times 30 days, like I'm getting a lot of no's. I'm getting a lot of people who don't respond to me. I'm getting a lot of people who don't even want to get in the free group and stuff. So you just have to keep at it, up your invites um, and work around it that way. Following up, like I'll... If I look at a conversation with someone and I can still see their name in the message, I'm going to follow up again until it's just me on the message thing and I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so even if it's like three, I'm going to keep following up until it's just me alone. But I don't know. I just felt like I had better success with the other script, but I, but I can. If the other script works for you, then one. do that. But I can see but the didn't you just sign a coach and make success club points this month? Huh? Didn't you just sign up a coach and have um, success club points this month from following the script? I did. Oh. Well, not the script, but following the original one. Then, then do that. I know. You have I to find know. what works for you. I like them both, so it's hard for me. I don't know. If, you, if, you, if you're doing that, like the script, or you're, you're asking them if they'd want, rather do the free group or the 21-day fixed group, and then whatever their answer is, if you're like really taking the time to ask them questions and get to know their goals and then asking them follow-up questions with that, they're going to know that you really care about them. And then if they want to pay the money and get into that challenge group, which is like the premier, that's where the real results come from, then great. But if not, since you've taken that time to really get to know them and genuinely take an interest in their goals and what they're struggling with and all that, hopefully they'll still want to stick with you in, in a free group. Right. You just said the word premiere, and so maybe like that kind of caught that kind of caught me. And so maybe if I word it just a tad bit different, as far as yeah, know. that's a good idea. Like, like do you want to get in my free group? group? Yeah, if you say like, do you want to get in my free group, or are you interested in my tw or are you interested in my premiere group? Yeah, my premiere challenge. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. I, would, I was going to add something to that. Like, I would also say try to watch your hashtags too. Like, if you're 
using like the same couple hashtags and then those people that you're, you know, getting friend requests from and I guess those hashtags aren't really working for you. Like I kind of chart, like if I'm using like fit mom or, you know, different things like that, like if that hashtag's not working and those people are saying that they don't have a lot of money, then I kind of get away from that hashtag and I've searched Sometimes I search like more expensive gyms in my area that are cost more because I feel like that's where the money might be to where those people may be able to more afford things also. That's an so. awesome example, Marie. I was just talking to someone about that. Yeah. They were asking me where I invite and then I was like, oh, wait, like I just went to a juice place in Delray and the yeah. juices were $12 a juice. So I went to their Instagram page and I messaged everyone that was following that group. Yeah, like uh, I did. Um, you're, cutting into my, like, you're cutting into my local market. Come on. Yeah, like I'll do expensive you like boutiques. Yeah. I'll do like expensive boutiques and like expensive like workouts, like the Pio with the um, not Pio, but the one that's um, like certain yoga ones, like hot yoga groups and things like that. And I'll invite all of those people. And I've gotten away from just like lifting or you yeah. know. Um, fit girls or something like that like th that's not working yeah i yeah me. i've been i honestly i've been using a lot of tiu different hashtags that tone it up plan like those are people who are buying workout programs and like those shakes and stuff and they're not that cheap so yeah having success with that thought like going to local juice places local gyms like you were saying like i've been doing like equinox boston yeah and yeah following, and not only looking at like who liked their photos but looking at who's following that and, and then those just, people yeah i just started doing that that's a good idea the past like couple months and i'm i'm kind of i hate to say like we did not but it gets frustrating i mean you're inviting 100 people a day and everyone's like i don't have any money like you got to find where the money is to give you yeah. a good foundation and then you know because we all, we all want to make money. So do a couple of fillers, but find where the money is and go for it. Yeah. Just, that's awesome. Thanks just for saying. That. Cool. Amy, can I ask another question? Oh, one question per person. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, so do you, Caroline doesn't get our sense of humor. Yeah. I was like, wait, no, I was literally <laughs> joking. Um, are you guys in the same house? Yeah. No. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> Hi. Wow. Hi. So I know that you like. This is my life. And, <laughs> and like, when you're like working, you know, like, and she, you know, um, Marie was saying, like, you're working, you're trying to make some money. Like, money is the a vehicle that affords you that freedom. Um, but if I knew that freedom meant like that I was going to be living with my family like all the time, I don't know if I'd want that type of freedom. So be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Mom, just. Okay. She's like so... in the background still on the hashtags. <laughs> yeah. um, I know that you message anyone who likes or comments your pictures about like 21 Day Fix or Insane Max 30, your workouts, your food, whatever. Do you message people who like other pictures that are related to health and fitness but aren't Beachbody directly related or no? That's a good question. Um, I'll do if I post about like Shakeology or if I post something about like feeling better or you know getting out of your comfort zone or something like that, then I do message people. Hey, I saw you liked my photo about just like feeling better about yourself or whatever. Like, do you have any interest in, you know, getting in any of my challenges to better yourself? I'll do that. And then also I always have two Facebook tabs open so that when I'm going to message them, I go to my other Facebook and look at their person to see what our conversation was already. Because if I literally like just messaged them in 20 minutes ago or an hour ago, I don't want to be like, Hey, are you interested? I saw you liked my photo. Like, so I make sure to see what I was talking to them about. Okay. And I have one more question. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Um, do you ever have anyone be like, no, I don't want to be a discount coach. I'm just going to pay the thir the full price of Shakeology every month. Cause I have three people who are like, no, I'm just happy paying full price. I don't want to sign up. Yeah. So I actually just had a girl who for two months, she's been paying like 140 something dollars or something. So today I saw that the order process and I messaged her and I said, 
Hey, just want to let you know I saw your order go through. Da da da. One hundred and forty three dollars. Did you know that you could get it for like one hundred and twenty bucks and save like twenty two dollars? Just a thought. And and then she messaged me back and she was like, Oh yeah, that makes sense. Even though she's already been do. It's been like two months. I just said it to her again, and she said she's gonna sign up. Cause I I also was like, it's twenty dollars a month times twelve months, two hundred and fifty dollars that you're losing. Yeah, and I also say that if they have friends that want to try Shakeology or try Beachbody programs, then that's going to give them permission so that their Shakeology is even cheaper. Thank you. I struggle with that. So appreciate it. Yeah. I have a question. Hi, Jacob. Hey, um, so everybody's talking about messaging on the hashtags and on the different hashtags. My question is, when you're messaging those people, what are you saying? Um, are you saying like, if it's a picture of the food, are you saying that looks delicious and kind of starting a conversation that way? Or are you going straight to like saying, Hey, do you want to join my, I have a free group on Facebook. How are you like pursuing that person? So I changed mine. I used to say a free group and now I say I have a few groups because I don't want them to message me thinking it's just about a free group. So, and I usually tailor it to that person. So if I see somebody post a picture of a green smoothie, I'm going to say, oh, that green smoothie looks so good. Like, is, it, is there kale in there or what's the recipe for this? By the way, I have a few free group, or I have a few groups on Facebook. If you're interested, send me a, a Facebook friend request, my links in my bio. Next girl. Oh, those are awesome sneakers. How do they feel? I saw those Nike sneakers in the store, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like them. Oh, and by the way, I have a few groups on Facebook. So okay, and that helps me to get more invites in because if you're just sending the exact same thing each time, you're going to get blocked faster. I found I can get more invites in if I switch up the beginning. And I yeah. like at least five of their photos. So it's not like I'm just commenting on one. I'll like like five of them and then comment on one. Yeah, like today what I did was I just said if it was a picture of food, I said that looks delicious, or, you know, how was it? And then when they commented back, that's kind of when I said you're welcome. I have this Facebook group and I actually had like five people, you know, send me friend requests so that I figured out that worked. But I like how you say that you have a few groups that kind of it's all in one message. I see how you're doing that. Yeah. Thank you. And that's good if I'm like – if I'm doing invites, I try not to post a picture like right around then because otherwise that floods your like newsfeed thing. So if I'm doing invites, I won't post a picture and that way I can kind of like see if people are commenting back right away. And I do check that every so often if somebody like from Instagram, if I said nice page and they're like, thanks. Then if I like have time, I'll look at the photo and then be like, you're welcome. By the way, I have a few groups. Um, so that's another way of inviting. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Um, okay. So one last announcement, the there's, they were able to invite a ton of people off the wait list for summit. And there's also, we're able to open it up to more people. So that's probably like they have this new little window that they're able to open up for people that hadn't been on the wait list yet. So if you guys are wanting to go to summit and we're on the wait list hop on that right away because that window is going to close very quickly and summit is a complete game changer when i went to my first summit it changed everything and you can ask any coach it's been my um, income from june to july last year doubled there you go so it's coach summit.com coach summit.com so that window is going to close so i would hop on that like asap um then one other thing there's there's like 10 of us, I think, coaches from Team Boom, including myself, that are going to uh, L.A. Um, on like, I think it's, I want to say it's like the second weekend in March. It's for the Shalene Johnson Smart Success. And uh, Brittany Oat has an extra ticket for that. If, you, if anyone wants to go, just shoot her a message. Um, Brittany Oat. So check that out. And if you guys have any more questions for Amy, Post it in the Boom Fam group. If you're not in Boom Fam, uh, ask your upline coach uh, to post it in there so that they can get the answer for you. It'll be good that you guys post your questions in there because then we, everyone can see.
the answers to that and other people can kind of give their their opinion on it too which is good um but that's that's all i had amy anything else you want to say before we hop off sure. just nine. do it just do it all right give us a uh give us a one two three boom why don't you close us out one two three boom, boom. 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 see you guys bye, bye. bye. My bank account.